Yo, what's up? It's your boy Big D. I'm back with another video. Pop, 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 pop. Today we're gonna be acting to the strangers' um uh, request for their last meal of prisoners. Um, today I'm 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 kind of like worried, but also about excited. I can't wait to see what we're gonna be act reacting to. Uh, before we get in the video, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Should be right here. Let me give you a minute. Let's get into the video! States in America and other countries with legal capital punishment, there exists an interesting custom for criminals on death row. The infamous last meal. Convicted felons are granted the opportunity to select any food and drink of their choice within certain regulations on the eve of their execution. Here are some of the strangest meals. Jack Daniels, okay, okay. I'm gonna run some whiskey. Burn up the chessman. Ever recorded. Number 20, Victor Harry Fagger. In 19 Oh, this guy looks like a pedophile, criminal, die cutting serial killer. In 1963, 28 year old Victor Harry Fagger was sentenced to death by hanging for convicted kidnap murder. For his final meal, the young man had only one request a single olive with the pit left in. After his execution, the olive pit was found inside Fagger's suit pocket contributing to the popular belief that he intended to be buried alongside it so that the olive tree symbolizing peace would sprout from his grave. He's a dumb fuck. There's no fucking way this happened. No, no way this happened. A dangerous criminal. It's almost a touching sentiment. Number 19. Did that, did that happen? Did that happen? Is, is that possible? No way. No chance, blood. Like, it's down, it's down the grave in the roots of the thing, blood. There's no ways, bruv. No ways. No chance. No chance. Guys, dumb, like, wasted his damn thing. Lee Mitchell. Jared Lee Mitchell's final meal was even sweeter than Fagger's, but in an entirely different sense. As he awaited his final moments on death row, Mitchell had only one thing on his mind when it came to his final meal an assorted bag of Jolly Ranchers candy. After finishing the entire bag, that, that that's respectable though that's respectable probably had some sentimental value we don't know we don't know this nigga's life bro like that that, that that's like sweets bro come on now maybe he liked sweets what the fuck's wrong with you why your advisors here facing the final curtain it's safe to say this criminal intended to go out on a real sugar high number 18 lawrence russell brewer man looks like a yours guys bolo are you <laughs> are you Bro, bro, that is that's bigger than my two legs put together, bro. What the hell? What the hell is this guy on? Bamba man is on all the roids. While some have a clear idea of the last thing they'll ever eat, others are totally spoiled for choice. Taking full advantage of this unusual opportunity, convicted killer and white supremacist Lawrence Russell Brewer decided to. Doesn't doesn't he look like the guy from you? Unusual opportunity, convicted killer. He looks like the guy from you, bro. These these are creepy niggas, bro. If you look like this, you're a creepy nigga, bro. And white supremacist Lawrence Russell Brewer decided to indulge in an enormous feast in 2011. He requested two fried chicken steaks with gravy and onion, a triple bacon cheeseburger, a cheese omelet with ground beef, tomatoes, onions, bell peppers, and jalapenos, three fajitas, a meat feast pizza, a bowl of fried oak. I'll be honest, I'll be honest. If I was the chef, I would have told this guy to fuck off, bro. I'm not making all this, bro. For a fucking criminal, I'm not making all this shit, bro. You better pick one. You better pick one. A pound of barbecued meat with half a loaf of white bread, peanut butter fudge with crushed peanuts, and a pint of blue bell. Like, who does this guy think he is ordering all this? Y'all, you are a serial killer. The about to be hang up means you did some serious shit. Who the fuck do you think you are, bro, to be acting like do, do you think you deserve a feast, a, a, a feast like the Prince of England? Who do you think you are, bro? I ain't making all this shit. No, who is making this? A light screen. All washed, washed down, down with, with three root beers. beers. In, In a, a final, final screw you to the justice system, system though, Brewer refused to eat a morsel when the order arrived, claiming that they gave him this. He, they, who the, who the. <laughs> Ah. Wasn't hungry. Texas, Texas Senator John Whitmire was so furious that he decided to ban the last meal request in the state, so future death row prisoners have Lawrence Russell Brewer to blame for regular prison slop. Number 17, John Wayne Gacy. Another felon who capitalized on his last meal request was the notorious serial killer John Wayne Gacy, otherwise known as the Killer Clown Pogo. 
For his final supper, Gacy ordered 12 fried shrimp, a bucket of original recipe KFC, french fries, and a pound of strawberries. Like, it's last meal, not last meals. Yo, better pick one. I'm sick. Who the fuck do these guys, do they do they commit this on purpose so they can eat like fucking, they some stomach full? Who the fuck do they think they are? Bro, this, this, this is not on, bro. Yo, better pick one. Yo, 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 yo. I, was, I was expecting peanut butter and jam. Like, and jelly, if you go in America. Like, who who the hell is making all this food, bro? Like, y'all y'all can't be coming like, I want some caviar. You're not, bro, bro, please. Don't piss me off, bro. Prior to his conviction, Gacy had managed three KFC restaurants in his home city of Waterloo. And he clearly never got tired of that finger-licking goodness. Number 16, John Spentkelink. For some, food isn't the priority at all when it comes down to making a last order. Pre what the fuck is that? known as a heavy drinker, Spinkelink denied any special food to be prepared, but asked for a single flask of Jack Daniels instead. Which he that, that is respectable though. That that is like that that's like a doable thing. Like y'all y'all all think like some of these niggas before were asking like like bring out the chefs like Gordon Ramsay to chef up them stuff like like they like they are, like they are a prince or a king or like some like bro like that that is messed up. This is like okay Jack Daniels get down the store ordered the drink, let him drink, gimme. Shared with the prison superintendent. After his death, the state of Florida's last meal provisions was revised to exclude alcohol altogether. But to be honest, going out while drunk doesn't seem like such a bad idea. Number 15, Eileen Warnos. Eileen Warnos also requested a beverage before taking her last breath in 2002, but of a different kind. A single cup of black coffee was all she that, that, that is respectable. Wanted. It may seem like this request was her way of saying, don't even think about killing me before I've had my morning coffee, but Warnos actually had far crazier motivations. In fact, she didn't believe she was going anywhere for long, as her notorious last words were, I'd just like to say I'm sailing with the rock, and I'll be back like Independence Day with Jesus June 6. It's safe to say she still hasn't turned up yet. Number 14, Ricky Ray. She thought she was an... A Rector. Ricky Ray Rector seemed to have seen... What the? Bro, bro's hairline is built in. Bro, his hairline is built in the covertial overture. Like, what is the hell is this? Bro, it's a covertial overture. Like, it is built in, bro. You can't do nothing about it. That like, you have to like circumference his hairline. Similar motivations when it came to his last meal. Rector had ordered a tasty-sounding meal consisting of steak, fried chicken, and cherry Kool-Aid, followed by a slice of pecan pie. These fat, these fat, these fat bitches are. <laughs> He left his dessert untouched. When asked why he changed his mind on the sweet treat, Rector simply said he was saving it for later. Whether this was intended as an ironic joke or a sinister hint that his return in the afterlife was imminent is entirely up to you. Number 13, Timothy McVeigh. What this senseless killer ordered as his last hurrah might surprise you, given the seriousness of his crimes. All McVeigh wanted to eat before his execution in 2001 was two pints of mint chocolate chip ice cream. Though it's unclear whether one remained chilled as he guzzled down the first or simply melted into a puddle beside it. To be honest, for a man responsible for 168 innocent deaths, he would melt- Why? Like, in the first place, why are these- they, they should be starving, like, in, inside there. They should be starving, bro. I'm not- I'm not giving these criminals flipping food, bro. Like- like, 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 it depends, like, you see, like, to be in, to be sentenced to death, like, come on, bro. Like, how, why are these niggas giving a lost meal? Like, oh my goodness. That ice cream seems far too generous. Number 12, David Leon Woods. Convicted murderer David Leon Woods spent a whopping 22 years on death row before he was put to death on May 4th, 2007 in Michigan, Indiana. When the daunting moment finally came, Woods had a fairly simple request for his last meal. He chose a standard pizza and an entire birthday cake, both of which he shared with his family. As it turns out, his birthday was actually three months after his execution, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. Number 11. Thomas J. Grasso. Thomas J. Grasso was not the brightest of the bunch, and when Judgment Day came in 1995, his final meal request reflected his questionable life choices. He ordered a plethora of extravagant foods like two dozen steamed clams, half a dozen barbecued ribs, a Burger King double cheeseburger, and two strawberry milkshakes, alongside a can of SpaghettiOs to be served at room temperature. I'm sick, when I'm sick and tired of this shit, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm tired of this, bro. I've had it up to you with this, bro. 
these niggas out here be feasting, bro. But um, these are these are these are the worst kind of criminals. Death row, like that. That is like the fucked up. That's the fucked up of the nations. Like I'm tired of these niggas, bro. They are you're feasting like bowling. What is that? That's bowling years. Like this is bowling years, bro. Bowling. You don't get this shit nowhere, bro. That's bowling years, bro. As his meal arrived, he was served spaghetti and meatballs instead. A mistake he'd never forgive. As his final words were, I did not get my spaghettios. I got spaghetti. I want the press to know this. Number 10. They don't, they don't give a fuck about you, bro. Stephen Wayne Anderson. Grasso isn't the only one to throw a seemingly random ingredient into the... This, this guy needs like a nigga there that chews bark. No bark from a tree. Looks like he chews bark. And Wayne Anderson. Grasso isn't the only one to throw a seemingly random ingredient into the mix when concocting the perfect final meal. Stephen Wayne Anderson was a pretty deadly criminal, but his food choices were interesting to say the least. Before his execution in California in 2002, the 48-year-old requested two grilled cheese sandwiches, a pint of cottage cheese, a hominy corn mixture, peach pie and chocolate chip ice cream, and, well, a big helping of radishes on the side. This ain't weird, bro. This ain't strange. This ain't this ain't strange, bro. You don't need to change the title. You don't need to change who ordered the most food. Because uh, that, that's what I'm seeing right now. Number 9. Peter J. Miniel. Convicted killer Peter J. Miniel could give Lawrence Russell Brewer a run for his money for one of the biggest orders ever served on death row in 2004. Miniel confessed to his crimes and was vocal about being ready to pay the price, but not before he gorged himself on this whopping order. He requested 20 beef tacos, 20 beef enchiladas, two double cheeseburgers, a pizza with jalapenos, fried chicken, spaghetti with salt, and a modest dessert of half a chocolate cake, half a vanilla cake, cookies and cream ice cream, caramel pecan fudge ice cream, and a small fruit cake. To wash it all down, he also had two lots of Coke, Pepsi, root beer, and orange juice. Maybe he intended to explode Henry VIII style before facing the music. Number eight, Velma Barfield. This sweet, God-fearing grandmother became known as the Death Row Granny. Velma Barfield was the first woman put to death in the U.S. in 22 years when she was executed by lethal injection in 1982, but not before she was granted one final meal. A cup of tea, a slice of coffee cake, or a fruit scone might be what you'd expect. Uh, that, that's, that's some granny shit. A like cup of tea and, and, and cake, that, that is granny shit, bro. Like, I don't know one granny that ain't, that I, that like, ain't like had a cup of tea with some cake. I don't know one. Respect. But all Barfield really wanted was a packet of cheese doodles and a can of Coke. But for a devout Christian old lady who also killed six people... <laughs> what can you really expect? Number 7. Robert Alton Harris when you're ordering your final meal on death row, it's important to cover all bases. And why agonize over which takeaway to get when you can combine the lot? This is exactly what murderer Robert Alden Harris did in 1992 when he requested a 21-piece bucket of KFC and two large Domino's pizzas alongside a six-pack of Pepsi with ice cream and a bag of jelly beans for dessert and a packet of Camel cigarettes for good measure. Harris is most rem These guys are being treated like kings. Bomba. No, these guys, they, they're actually living the life. What the hell, bro? Bro, I'm, bro, this stuff should be banned, bro. This stuff should be banned, bro. They should be eating out your set. They should be eating celery, bro. No, dry celery. Remembered for his final words, though, which were, you can be a king or a street sweeper, but everybody dances with the Grim Reaper. Kind of prophetic for a seasoned criminal, don't you think? Number six. Ronnie Lee Gardner. Plenty of death row criminals have used their final meal as an opportunity to make smart choices. All of these death row criminals, they fucking look creepy, bro. Look at this guy. What the fuck? Hmm? What the fuck? His nose looks like a penis. Gardner. Plenty of death row criminals have used their final meal as an opportunity to make smart choices, and Ronnie Lee Gardner was certainly determined to make his sitting last as long as possible. He didn't go too overboard on his order of steak, lobster tail, apple pie with vanilla ice cream. Not expensive lobsters, they give him the shit. Not expensive lobsters. Cream and a 7-Up, but he also had another request, to watch the Lord of the Rings trilogy while eating. And he's, watch he's watching TV, bro, TV. I promise you, nigga even have a TV. Surprisingly, when Gardner was permitted to do so, and with a combined runtime of more than 11 hours, this must have been the longest last meal ever. Number 5. 
Philip Workman. Gluttony was the last thing on Phillips' mind when he requested his final meal. His final request was for a large vegetarian pizza to be given to a random homeless person. But prison nice dude. And officials refused to do so, and he ate nothing. In a surprising turnout, on the day of his death on May 9th, homeless shelters in Tennessee received large amounts of vegetarian pizzas from people all over the country. So at least he did one good deed before his death. Yeah, Number nice four. Dude, nice dude. Maybe maybe it was misheard. Maybe it was misheard. We don't know. Four. Angel Nieves Diaz. Philip Workman may have gone hungry because of his strangely selfless request, but Angel Nieves Diaz deliberately turned down his last meal. As he didn't order anything special, Diaz was served the regular Wednesday prison menu of shredded turkey with taco seasoning, cheese, rice, pinto beans, tortilla shells, apple crisp, and ice cream. As surprisingly nice as that sounds, Diaz refused to eat that too, and in his final words, he condemned the death penalty as a form of vengeance, but also a cowardly act by humans. Number three. <sighs> fuck you. Let me fuck you. Huh? You're out here killing and ah, you saying it's cowed. You're cowed, blood. Oba Chandler. For his last meal, he ordered two salami sandwiches on white bread with mustard and peanut butter and a grape jelly sandwich on white bread with iced tea and a coffee. And with all that bread, it's safe to say another one bites the crust. Don't you ever 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 tell me a joke again bruv yeah whoever's the narrator on this thing that was dry shirt link on screen and in the description if you feel the need to expose the world to more crummy puns no number two robert dale conklin conklin clearly had expected why the fuck are these names conklin of taste as he requested filet mignon wrapped in bacon, deveined shrimp sauteed in garlic butter with lemon, baked potato with sour cream, chives, and real bacon bits, corn on the cob, asparagus with hollandaise. This is the type of stuff you'll find in noble blood. Koshela mashala, koshinuk, koshomoshela, shmonishello. These niggas, this is, this is like, this is expensive shit. They going all out for these niggas. What the fuck? Sauce, French bread with butter, goat cheese, cantaloupe, vanilla bean Goat cheese? Goat cheese? Ain't, bro, if you ain't rich, you ain't eating cold cheese, bro. You ain't cheddar cowder, normal stuff. This, this is like, bro, these niggas are, this price, this price is eating. And iced tea. Number one, James Edward Smith. This convicted felon. What's number one gonna be? It's probably some flipping. He's probably gonna order the whole damn thing. One had one of the most bizarre last meal requests ever recorded. When it came down to his final meal request in 1990, all he wanted was a lump of soil. Although some of spec- Finally! Finally a strange request! Um, these niggas were eating good blood! This day was strange! This is strange! This is strange! Bro, the soil! Man eating soil! Weird fucker! That this is strange! What the fuck was this video? that he did indeed intend to chow down on the dirt. Others have suggested he planned to perform a voodoo ritual as the soil was specified to be the Rekunda type associated with witchcraft. As dirt was not on the list of foods permitted by prison regulation, Smith's request was denied and he was served a cup of yogurt instead. Which of course is the only reasonable alternative. So, what would you- This, 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 this one's strange bro. That's the thing. This one's, th this wasn't strange bro. This was like, this niggas eating get, their, get fat, bro. This wasn't strange, bro. This is pissing. This is pissing me off, bro. I'm sick and tired of shit, bro. The last one though, it was strange soil, fine. But the, this one's strange. This pissed me off, bro. Fuck. It's been your boy BT. Please like, comment, subscribe. See you next time. Peace.